Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate Here's a video of how to repair rust without welding with spray foam and fiberglass. I actually did the video three and a half years ago, but it's an update to it because on the original video, I had a lot of comments saying it's not going to work, it's not going to last. Well, here's the time we're going to see because I got to take this top off. And that's where I did the repair. I did the repair right here. There was a lot of rust there. I gotta take this top off to put this rear glass in. And I might as well just post the old video again to show you how I done it. Then once I get done, well, once I take this top off, we're gonna see what it looked like up under it. Then I'll play the original video. I'm gonna put this sheet on the Big lid just to keep from stretching it up. One man show. to find a piece of cardboard or something. I'm gonna put these where the stud is at, sticking out. Gotta be careful with this glass because he got some broken glass. I don't want to stretch the paint up. Top removed. Okay, remove the quarter top. Now you can see where the five glass repair was at. Still look the same. All those professionals in the comment section said it wasn't gonna last a month. It's been almost four years. In uh, March, it'll be four years since I did this repair. Let me go to the other side. Same way with this side. I'm going to take some soap and water and clean it up because the only problem I see is this dirt and dust. Let me clean it up for you. All right. Just wiped it. Y'all tell me, did it work or did it not? Not saying this the way I do all repairs, but everybody don't got the money to uh, pay a welder. The welder and some metal up in here. Some folks just want to do it at home. DIY. And that's what I do my videos mostly for the DIYs, not the professionals. Just the DIYs trying to do it on the budget. But you can see it did work. So let's get to the video. 1987 Caprice Box Chevy is in the booth, as you can see. On this video here, we're going to go ahead and tackle this rust that we found up under the LS quarter top shell in my previous video. The rust here it wasn't quoted on the price that I gave him for painting the car 
but I'm not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna repair it to my best ability with this budget. So we're gonna go ahead and use fiberglass to repair it. So stay tuned. Let me get everything set up and we're gonna cut you back on. I got the LS quarter top shell removed so we can see what we're working with. The reason why this rusted out because from the factory if your car had a vinyl top on it they didn't never finish the roof out. The only thing they did just set the roof on and weld it these spots here and put some seam seller in it. It wasn't never finished out. So what, when it rained the water just run through here and get up under the seam seller and just sit and that's why all this here is rusted out. So what we gonna have to do is see how far the rust go back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shell out back here, the rear glass. I'm gonna have to remove it. So sit tight. I'm getting this back rear glass out. You're gonna have to get to the screws and they cover the screws up with seam sealer or glue. I'm not sure what it is, but the bottom ones, you can get to them easy. But these side ones and top ones, you're gonna have to scrape the glue off from the top in order to get to the screw. But let me show you something on this side, what I was telling you about, why it be rusting out. You can see where this water right here, see where it's wet just sitting up in there. That come from outside, it was sitting outside in the rain. And I just poured it in here, but you can see where that water just sitting up. That's why it just rushed out. It come down this channel here, it just sit here. If they would have finished the roof out, you know, like they do on the, the box shivers that don't have tops on them, it wouldn't happen. They should have just finished the roof out. I got the rear glass removed. I'm finna go ahead and vacuum this up, clean it up. I got some soap and water there. Make sure everything good and clean so I can see what I'm working with. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mask this rear opening up so all the sand and dust won't get on the inside. Next step is to see how far this rust go back. So we gonna sand all this, but we're gonna do it with this grinder. I got a porta cable grinder with a 60 grit flap this attached to it. So we're gonna go ahead and sand and see how far this rust go back. Got it cleaned up with the 60 grit flap disc. As you can see, most of it is just really surface rust. I'm gonna have to get my uh, drill and clean it out up in there where it's pitted at, but most of it is surface rust. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part here out so I can get on up inside of here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this cutoff wheel. and just cut it along here so I can clean it up a little better. All right, I got that. It's enough so I can get up in here and clean this metal pretty good with my sandpaper, get this surface rust up. Let me finish cleaning all this up, then I'm gonna cut you back on.
the next step is to get everywhere where the sander didn't get we're gonna have to get this surface rust up and the best way to do it is some white vinegar we're gonna use this on a maroon scotch bright or you can use a rag or whatever you like a brillo pad but I'm gonna use this maroon scotch bright I'm gonna put some on it and I'm gonna get all this other surface rust up it's coming clean let me take you over here to this side this side here wasn't as bad as this side over there once you get everything cleaned up and rust free our next step is getting some primer I got some tin primer here I'm just gonna prime up in here because this part here is not gonna get finished it's gonna be hid. I'm gonna put about two coats of prime on that. I'm gonna let this coat here dry, then I'm gonna come back and hit another one. The primer done dried up. Our next step is creating a backing for our fiberglass mat. So we're gonna use this here some spray can foam we're going to take this and shoot some up in here and once that dry we're going to shave it down and shape it up and then we're going to fiberglass it Once your spray foam dry, you want to get you a knife to trim it off. It's pretty simple. Just that simple. You want to get you some fiberglass resin, fiberglass mat a chip brush and something to stir it with mix it up some and then you're going to go ahead and lay your fiberglass mat over this You want to go ahead and let this dry then after it dry we're going to put another layer of fiberglass mat over this
fiberglass mat good and dry what we're gonna do now we're gonna trim out around here on each side we're just gonna use a box cutter take our blade and just trim it out then we're gonna take the DA with 80 grit sandpaper and we're gonna knock all this down get ready for the next step Once I knocked everything down with the DA, I went back over with the hand sander with 80 grit sandpaper. Our next step is getting some short strand fiberglass filler. We're going to mix some of this up and cover all our imperfections. It's starting to take form now. I knocked this down. I just repeated the process as I did with the fiberglass mat. I knocked it down with the DA, then I came back with the straight sander. Our next step is applying some body filler. We're gonna mix that up. We're gonna knock that down, then we should be ready for some primer after that. I'm just finishing up cleaning up my spray gun. I just like to make sure it's in good working condition before I start shooting the primer or paint. But I'm going to be shooting this Eurocam. It mixes photo one to one. Four part color, one part activator, one part reducer. And I'm going to be shooting it out of this Cetajet 1000 BRP. Let me show you what I got going on. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this half for the roof also. So I had went on and sanded that too. I'm going to shoot all the way down the hill. I went on and took this off. I'm going to shoot back here too. I cleaned that up. Got that glue off of it. Same way with this side. Let me mix up this primer, then we're going to be spraying some 2K.
Y'all tell me. Did it work? Or did it not? Not saying this the way I do all repairs, but everybody don't got the money to uh, pay a welder to weld in some metal up in here. Some folks just want to do it at home, DIY. And that's what I do my videos mostly for the DIYs, not the professionals. Just the DIYs trying to do it on the budget. Stop